Dodging raindrops in the Rose City and ready for Portland Pilot Hoops on the bluff. Another non-conference test for Shantae Leggins and his club hosting Arkansas and Pine Bluff out of the Southwestern Athletic Conference right here at the Child Center. Good evening, everybody. And Shots joined by my broadcast partner and good friend, Jennifer Mountain. We love to call her Jay Mo. All right, Jen, this is the first time these two clubs have met. Golden Lions, first win of the season, while the Pilots are right in school. They don't like to keep it that way. Absolutely. You know, Arkansas Pine Bluff's coming off a, a great game against Creighton. They played them pretty tough. Been on the road for a while. It's a new team with a lot of transfers. Coach Bozeman has talked about how well they compete. This is a game they have to win, and they've got to play defense tonight. Hey, you talked about Arkansas Pine Bluff with the transfers. Sean Williams really sticks out. This is his fourth stop, and he is making A. Yeah, transfer from Nichols State, averaging 15 points a game. He was AAC Rookie of the Year his freshman year. He's a point guard who shows great leadership, and he can flat out shoot it and has deep, deep range. Portland has got to locate him early in transition. They have to defensively guard the three-point line. Rebounding is going to be a key. You're going to hear us talk about rebounding all night. And then talking to coach, they've got to have quality shots in the half court. You know, Mike Meadows is the guy tonight that I really want to keep an eye on. He's the point guard. He had a triple-double the other night, uh, set the school record, and, you know, first one in pilot history. He's just averaging under 12 points a game, seven rebounds and five assists on the season so far. He's a great court leader. He competes, and the, the, the pilots need him to have a great shooting night. Take care of the basketball. That's one thing that they have struggled with a little bit, talking to Shantae. Defend the three-point line because this team can shoot the three. And then entry into their half court, Arkansas Pine Bluff's going to try to take away the entry pass, which can really throw the rhythm off offensively. So they've got to do a good job of getting it going early. Yeah, unexpected for us tonight, but you know, that's when all of a sudden you kind of find the character of your team. Somebody's out, somebody else has to come in and step up. Yeah, and, and I think he's really got eight or nine guys that really can contribute, come in and do different things. I think he's going to be able to mix things up. Lineup's going to possibly be different here and there, but I really like what I've seen so far. He's got guys that can shoot it, and they didn't shoot it well the other night, and they won the game by playing defense. Yeah, I mean, you've got to have both ends of the floor, and they haven't put a whole game together quite yet. But again, the other did not. I got nothing. So, if you're Shantae Leggins, and it's this early in the season, you know it's not conference time. It's a non-conference game. But why are these early games important for his guys? Well, number one, it's the chemistry on the floor. You've got to you know, create this other, right? chemistry. The, the, you know, they're trying to create a culture, find different rotations, and really find what guys are all about. All right, so we're ready to tip. Arkansas, Pine Bluff, the Golden Lions coming in at 0-3 in their road black uniforms. With gold numbers and trim, the Portland Pilots at 2-1, and one, coming off that victory against Alcorn State the other day at home in their home whites. Underway here at the Child Center. And Portland started off in just a man-to-man -man defense. They're looking to switch things up. Rimming out. Boy, you got to grab that ball. That goes off of two Pilots, and now it's a second chance opportunity for the Golden Lions. Well, we, we mentioned it in the open is rebounding. You can't just jump with an athletic team like this. You've got to put a body on them and be strong. 
We're gonna go the other way on the turnover. Pine Bluff goes deep into the shot clock. Looked like they had something right at the rim, but the travel will head the other way in Portland's favor. And we're gonna see pressure from these guys in all different spots tonight. It could be full court, three quarter. Again, looking to take them out of what they want to do in the half court. You've got two young electric coaches working their sidelines tonight. Nicely played by Vucinic, and Vucinic has got that soft touch inside. He does, nice little finesse, little jump hook there. Um, he's done a nice job, and that's where <laughs> Portland's really got to do a good job of defending the three. You talked about Williams. You talked about finding him early in the shot clock. He'll pull the trigger. Oh, talking to Coach Bozeman, I mean, he'll pull it any time and from anywhere. Moses Wood with the flush. Again, there's that long range shot by Williams, this time rimming out. Austin, a walking bucket, says Shantae Leggins, pulls up, bam. I like the rhythm so far offensively. They're not trying to go too quick. And I like that Chris Austin is just inserting himself and getting himself going. Quick six to two lead by the Pilots. Ooh. Away from the ball. Quick foul on that moving pick. A little bit of so offensive Harris. screen right there. Yep. Harris picks up his first, team's first. And here they come, they're gonna extend full court, little man-to-man, -man just trying to put pressure and take Portland out of their rhythm. Stokes on the floor for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Six to two, Pilots with the lead. Meadows measured by Stokes, picks up that dribble. Well, that's something they're not gonna wanna do too early in the shot clock. Back door didn't work, six on the shot clock. Austin. Draws the foul, nicely done. He saw a little seam, Jen, went right to the rack. He did, and that was a really, actually a good decision because both the back cuts were cut off. You know, a lot of times if you're getting denied on the wing, one of the things to relieve pressure is to go back door. So they were smart there, and just a smart play by Austin to get himself to the free throw line. Solomon Bozeman, boss on the sidelines for the Golden Lions, one of the youngest head coaches in D1 men's hoops at 33 years old. We love talking to him. On the other side of the ledger, of course, is Shantae Leggins, one of the younger, more successful head coaches. Both of these guys in their first years at their respective schools, they're not gonna sit down tonight. They are not gonna sit down tonight. We should put a pedometer on them. <laughs> I love that. Well, Looks like a lane violation. Yeah, no, number 11. I think he got in there just a little bit too soon. So Austin's going to get another shot. Milton just got in the lane a little bit too soon. You know, we talked to both these coaches, and, you know, they're building a the culture. They've got a lot of transfers, a lot of new people, and uh, they both really love how well both teams are competing at this point. I mean, just transfers all over both sides of the ledger for both of these clubs. Austin almost had the pick. Long range shot, no good, good board by Wood. And he throws it away. A little too quick on the outlet and Portland was in a little zone right there. Let's see if they switch it back up and go man to man or stay in their zone. Looks like they're gonna match it up. How much are the Golden Lions right now missing Sampson as that uh, scoring threat that gives them 14, 15 points a pop? Well, yeah, anytime you're missing one of your leading scorers on the road, that's gonna, you're gonna take a hit. Quick hands by the Golden Lions. Turnover, pilots. You know, and that's two quick turnovers in a row. Love the feed, Stokes inside to Brown. Easy pickings on that low block. And that's one of the points, you know, Shantae's like, we're just turning the ball over too many times so far. Gotta clean it up. Austin the transfer out of Fordham. Love the kick. Boy, and splashing it home is Wood, but the pass made it happen. Absolutely, great find in the corner for a shooter, and Woods just has a smooth stroke. Tough finish by Brown. I mean, he goes right up against that big body. Good body control. Nine to six, back and forth we go. Wood puts the ball on the deck. 
unselfish play by the Pilots. Plenty of time on the shot clock. And I think that's one of their strongest suits so far this year is just how well they share the basketball and compete for each other. And there's Robinson right there hitting the three. And I'll tell you what, that kid is a leader on the floor, does, does all the little things that just make a big difference. One of a few guys who followed legs from Eastern Washington to the bluff. And that was a patient half court set for the Pilots. And they splash home the big bucket. Boy, I just love the feel of this Williams kid. Oh, heck yeah. You know, in talking to Coach Bozeman, he's like, he's not a, a, just a, a, a straight up shooter. He creates his three point shot. And he said he can shoot it from anywhere. Fourth stop for Williams. ECU, New Mexico State, Nickel State, and now here at Arkansas Pine Bluff. I love the footwork inside. Gucinich, he's just smooth. He is smooth. And, you know, the first couple times out, he, I think, was a little bit nervous. But right now, he seems real settled in what he's trying to do. Uh, just a nice job of, that's what the pilots need. The pilots are going to need some strength inside. Ooh, Williams with the triple. And Arkansas Pine Bluff, four for the last four. They're hot and within striking distance. And really, that's just a guy making a play because <laughs> Meadows is right there on him. It's good defense. Seven points now for Williams. He gives you 15 a pop. You love the idea by Vucinic. That's a high percentage shot. Ooh. Block is going to go against the Pilots. The crowd was really hoping for a charge. Yeah, I Robertson. think Coach Leggins did too. All right, 14-11, back and forth we go. Williams keeping Arkansas Pine Bluff in it, and it's the share the ball pilot offense with the lead. Well, earlier tonight, the University of Portland men's soccer team defeated Seattle 3-2. to This match just concluded over at Merlot Field. Shoot Jen Wheaton, spit and get there, and there was a good crowd on hand. So up next for the Pilots, round two of the NCAA men's soccer tournament. It's going to be against second-ranked Washington on Sunday in Seattle. How great is that? And folks who are watching that soccer match are filtering in for our game. Absolutely. Hope they're not drowned from all the rain. <laughs> but congratulations to the men's soccer team. That is just so great. Tall task going up against UW. Nice hands by Jack Perry. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 14-11. 14-37 left to go in the opening half. Really fun game so far between the Pilots and the visiting Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Foul on the drive. Mike Meadows, first personal, second team. Vargas on the floor now for the Golden Lions. A chance with the triple to tie this thing up. Stokes travel. 
Well, and right now they're going to extend that pressure again. Portland just to make, needs to just slow down a little bit against it. Every time they've had their composure, they've got an opportunity in the half court. Williams back on the floor for Arkansas Pine Bluff. He has just shown the shooting stroke to keep his ball club in it. Well, both teams shooting the ball really well. Arkansas 63%, Portland 86% from the floor right now. And here's that pressure. Silvera on the floor for the Pilots. Grabs it inside and scores. Little dump pass, nicely done. Well, and he adds a different element, just a bigger body, seven footer that's got some strength on him. Back rim and off, poorly timed by the Pilots, so another chance for the Golden Lions. Gotta grab those loose balls, Jen. Well, right now they're just relying on, on their athleticism and jumping. They've got to put a body on somebody. These guys are too athletic and they crash hard. I mean, that's been something that Coach Bozeman was chirping at him. He said he was going to make them run if they didn't rebound. <laughs> so a second chance opportunity turns into a triple mm. and a turnover against the Pilots. So it's 16 14. Arkansas Pine Bluff with a chance to tie or take the lead. Yeah, he just led him a little too far, kind of on the wrong side of his body. He's a lefty. Harvey on the floor now for the Portland Pilots. Williams will walk it up. Oh, there's another travel. Vargas dragging that pivot foot. Well, and Portland's switching a little bit and back-to-back -back turnovers off of a travel, I think. You know, just with them taking away the entry pass to the wing. This is an Arkansas Pine Bluff club that gets rebounded by a ton, will jack up a ton of threes. If they're hot, though, they can make a difference. Those threes start going home, and you get confident. Oh, yeah, you live and die by it. You knew that thing was short the second it left Tyler's hand, and here comes the Golden Lions. That one was a little forced, I think. Williams pulls it out. And that happens a lot when teams pressure you like they're getting pressure tonight. Sometimes decision making, just trying to get a shot off. Williams turns it over. Wide open, rimming out is Wood. I don't mind that shot whatsoever. What, what needs to happen is we need to crash the offensive glass, especially That's, from that weak side guard. I like that shot a lot, Jen, I'm with you. Yep. Good board, Harvey, let's see if Pilots can push some tempo, get to the rim. Wood, wheeling, dealing, he'll go to the line. He had Milton in his back pocket, but he just kept with it. Good patience, nice little jump hook on the spin. Third team foul, second on Milton. Remember, he's got with those two personal fouls, he's got to be careful because he leads this club in scoring at 16 a pop. Yeah, especially when you have one of your leading scorers yep. out. You certainly don't want to be sitting on the bench. So Wood, now nine for nine from the charity stripe, hasn't missed yet. Austin back on the floor for the Pilots. A little bit of a drought there for Portland, a couple of minutes without scoring, so Wood will say, hey, free throws matter too. See if he can hit a couple, he does. 10 for 10 now from the charity stripe is Mo, transfer out of UNLV. And he's done a lot, inside out, he, he's very versatile. He can score, he can play, uh, you know, heck, Shantae said he could even play the point guard for yeah. him. You know, he can play all spots. Love to have a guy with that kind of size. Vucinic back on the floor, freshman out of Montenegro for the Pilots, 18-14, Portland with the lead. That foul is gonna go against Austin. It's his first, team's third. Got a good ball game going here at the Child Center. Portland with the 18-14 lead over the visiting Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Come on back, we've got about 12 minutes left to go in this first half.
at the Child Center. University of Portland hosting the visiting Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions out of the SWAC. Now I'll tell you, Jen, this Golden Lion Club, every year they have a brutal non-conference schedule. This year is no difference. They just go on the road and they'll play anybody. And that's exactly what he said. He goes, we'll, we'll play anybody in the country. It don't matter if it's Duke, on the road. I mean, what they're, last year I think they played Duke, North Carolina. Baylor, not afraid Wisconsin. to compete. Yeah, right. not afraid to compete. Yeah. Pilots got away with that one. They almost gave away, gave up another offensive rebound. High, low. And the foul, I think, is going to go against Vucinic. Hmm. Yep. Maybe a little push off. You know, before that last shot, Arkansas Pine Bluff had made their last five out of seven field goals. I like the high-low look, though, by I the do. pilots there. And, you know, Vucinic will just, next time he won't push off because he still had the advantage. Yeah, he's, he's transitioning really well. And again, another offensive screen call. Yep. So Stretic whistle for that foul. And what I'd like to see this time down is just a little bit of movement. Naduka on the floor, super sub for the Pilots. Just a great role player for Shantae Leggins. Foul is going to go against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Stretic picks up his second in quick fashion. Sixth team foul. So 11.02 left to go in this opening half. Scoring starting to slow down a little bit, Jen. Yeah, it's gotten a little bit sloppy. Missed shots, few turnovers, offensive screen calls. I think we've had four or five offensive fouls between both clubs in the last few minutes. Quick hands by the Golden Lions. Turnovers really hurting Arkansas Pine Bluff. They've had a couple of opportunities to either catch or take the lead. Not able to come through, so they're behind by four now. Ten on the shot clock. Step back, and it's pretty. Boy, Austin's got the touch. He sure does, man. He can score in all different facets of the game. There's the answer right there for Harris. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you got a team that can shoot the three. They can yep. shoot you in and or out real quick. They average 34 triples a game. Does this Hot. Arkansas Pine Bluff Club. That's a ton. Naduka, rebound, finish. You got a credit. Chica for that, baby. Absolutely. He's the, the mini Draymond Green. <laughs> nice finish by Vucinic. But man, Naduka made that happen. Lead is five for Portland. And that's what he's done for them all season long. He comes in, makes big plays. There There's the charge. There's the charge. Harvey picks it up. Williams came in like a house of fire. Great, smart, heads up play defensively. And that's what Portland needs. Again, now just another, you know, 10 minutes left in the half, just good offensive possessions and lock it down defensively. Williams picks up his first, team's seventh. That's just Harvey, the freshman out of Sacramento, staying home. Here comes the heat again. Just a little man-to-man -man pressure here, just clear it out. Get yourself going. More just using clock. Yep. Uh, I think the Golden Lions thought they had a strip going the other way. Well, and the thing, that, you know, with the pressure like this on the ball hand, you just can't get cute with it. Make a move. Be sharp. Williams thought he had the strip. Instead, he picks up his second foul, and now Harvey will go to the free throw line. Well, and you for Portland, you love this because you, the remainder of the game, you're in the bonus situation. You bet. With almost 10 minutes to go. 
So Williams has two. Milton has two for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They've got to be so careful. Well, and it takes them out of what they want to do defensively by putting that much pressure. You're either going to put them to the line or you're going to pick up fouls, and you can't have either one the rest of the half. 23-17, Harvey had the 10 points against Willamette. What I loved about that total, Jen, is that Harvey went to the line 10 times in that game. That shows me an aggressive kid looking to help his team any way he can. Absolutely, he can create. You know, he's not huge, right? He's quick, smart. That's knowing angles. So the clock is stopped. Not sure what the message was to the University of Portland bench. I don't know if they gave them a warning about standing up or somebody is in the wrong spot. Lord have mercy, legs ain't gonna I mean, sit down. Well, he wasn't out of the coaching box. So I don't know what. Another offensive rebound. Another chance, and it's true. So Milton cans after another offensive rebound. That's got to stop, Jen. Well, it's second chance points. Yep. The Golden Lions, two key players playing with two fouls apiece. Meadows, that's a nice answer. It's a great answer. And just kind of get him into an offensive you play, bet. too. Jen mentioned Meadows with the triple double. Like, against Willamette. Williams now in double figures, but how about that for Meadows? 15, 10, and 11, man. You know, the, the best thing about that is we, we interviewed him after that game, and the only thing he talked about was his teammates. Is that right? Yeah. That's great. And that doesn't surprise me a bit. That's the culture that Legs brought from Eastern Washington. Smart, smart play by Williams to draw that foul from Meadows. And Meadows, the veteran, is saying, ah, darn it. Well, and, and you can see Coach Leggins, the post player right there who's defending the person that's setting that screen, has got to step up and help on the shot just for a second to allow him to get back. And they're not doing it right now. So two on Meadows. He's really the only guy in foul trouble for the Pilots as Williams continues to cash in. Solomon Bozeman, whose dad coached for so many years, says, uh, Solomon said, hey, I called my dad and said, you want to want seat on, on, on the bench, man? You can be part of my staff. And his dad, in one word, said, nope, nope. <laughs> I'll break down film with you, son, but I ain't going to be coaching with you. Great first half for Williams. Terrific first half. Oh, and absolutely. he is keeping this club close. He's got 12. All right, one possession lead for the Pilots. 8.20 left to go in this first half. It's been a fun one. And you can nice see the pressure movement. has just changed a tiny bit here. Austin so strong. So a nice little hop streak by the Pilots, hitting four of their last four field goal attempts. Has the lead back to five, another triple. Oh yeah, baby. And there's Milton. He leads this club in triples made and he's clapping, he's feeling it. Well, and you certainly don't want him to get hot. Wow, charge is gonna go against the Pilots. That's good interior defense. Yeah, they called him from lowering the shoulder. So Austin picks up his second foul as he was going hard to the rim. And it's a two-point pilot lead when we come back. It'll be Arkansas Pine Bluff with the ball and a chance to either tie or grab the lead. Come on back.
of a game here at the Child Center. The visiting Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions toe to toe with the hometown Pilots. Jen, what are you seeing from the Pilots right now that you like? Well, the points in the paint. They got 16 points in the paint right now. You know, that's something that they've talked about. They've, especially, it's going to open up the perimeter once that gets going. And then eight points off of Arkansas Pine Bluff's turnovers is big. Right now, Pine Bluff is keeping themselves in it from the, from the three-point line. Five of 11 right now, shooting 45%. Mm. All right, Meadows and Austin, both with two fouls apiece. They're going to have to be careful when they're on the floor. Meadows on the floor, Chris not at the moment. 7.30 left to go in this really entertaining first half. Rimming out. Oh, ooh. Two Portland Pilots going for that loose rebound. Almost caused a turnover, but Pilots with the ball safely in their half court. You need to communicate a little bit more on that board because it was real close to a turnover. Meadows cut off nicely by Brown. 10 on the shot clock. Robertson elevates and hits. And that's what he did the other night so well, is just that little pull up in the mid range in the key. Another good half court possession for the Pilots as Williams rims out. Sholand on the floor. He's a shooter, he's a scorer. They'll try to get him good catch and shoot looks. Oh, he's got a. A great looking perimeter shot. Robertson, triple, short. On the run is Brown. Great defense by Robertson, but wait a second. The whistle blows a little late, and Tyler's going to get nicked for that foul. That's his second, team's seven. You see, he slid over. And I felt like they kind of, they initiated the contact there. Brown kind of swung through, but uh, you know, I, I, maybe he was turned, I guess, or a little bit late. Stredick back on the floor for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Naduka returns to the floor for the Pilots. Brown rims out. 6.20 left to go in the first half. The lead is four for the Pilots here at the Child Center. Another whistle off the ball. I, I like this little high on ball screen action. You know, looking for the high low right there. I think that's smart. That's one of the keys that they've had and points to the paint so far is, is working for them. So I, I like that option right there. Brown whistled for that foul, by the way. Naduka, the freshman out of Seattle, has been very good from the charity stripe. All the little things that gets him playing time. You know, he's a strong kid, and he's willing to do anything to get the minutes, J-Mo. Uh, he's that guy that it doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, all the intangibles. Teammate, plays super hard, has a knack for where the ball is. 50-50 ball, he's on the floor. Just it's all the little things that really matter. He gets to the line, you know, he made a living at the line against Willamette on his way to a double figures game. I just love, and he just has this calmness about him for a freshman. Yep. And what I like about this lineup right now is they literally can switch one through five, which is gonna hopefully allow them to take away the three point line a little bit. Really good defense by Meadows, forcing a bad shot, and here comes Portland. Mike with the ball, he's gonna give it up. Wood, cut off at the baseline. Good defense by Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yep. Travel keeps the drought going for the Golden Lions. I mean, time and time, Jen, they've had a chance to carve in to the deficit, grab a lead, whatever, and they kind of shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah, and I, I, it's a tribute to what Portland is doing, okay? They're responding, making runs of their own, making it, you know, a little bit more difficult. At, you know, the defensive end, I like the switching. It takes away the three-point line. Sholin got the roll. That was a great dive to the bucket, and Robertson found him. 
and nice little high low action they don't have an answer for them in the paint right now they just need to keep going right back to it Sholin known for that outside shooting smartly getting himself in a position where he could get to the cup well he's got some size for a shooter good D by Christian eight on the shot clock now for Vargas and company four and out Pope checked away by Wood Naduka will try and step through. Foul on the floor, bodies flying. Ooh, so Milton picks up his third. That is huge. That's gonna hurt them. They oh. got four and a half to go in the half. That's when you got it, you know, your veteran, the transfer out of Western Kentucky, has to know to just let Naduka go to the rim there. He can't pick up his third, but he did. I agree 100%. I mean, they need you on the floor. You can't make that mistake. 35, 28, 430 left to go. Milton now will sit down probably the rest of the half. Great call by the official. So Stredick picks up his third, and the Pilots continue to play good team defense. Well, I, I love what Coach Leggins did here with this lineup, just going a little bit smaller, a little bit more athletic, and just switching, switching everything. And it's taking away that high on ball screen for the three. Three and a half minute drought for the Golden Lions. Pilots need to make them pay. Yeah, smart, smart half court offense keep doing what they're doing defensively. Robertson trying to post up. Instead, Sholin missing badly on the long ball, and here comes Brown. And that's just too quick. You know, he can shoot that, but you're gonna get that in the 30 seconds. Like, that's just too quick. Looked like he traveled, and he did. Unlucky there for Brown. Made the nice move on that baseline but just shuffled the feet. So we'll take a quick break. 3.58 left to go in the first half. It's a 35-28 Portland Pilot lead. A drought by Arkansas Pine Bluff has hurt their cause and the Pilots making them pay. Just under four minutes to play in the opening half here at the Child Center. The Portland Pilots leading Arkansas Pine Bluff, 35-28. Good stat line for Robertson. Part of that point in the paint barrage, some of those coming from him. Absolutely, right now they're, they have 20 points in the paint, uh, you know, off of uh, 12 turnovers in the first half for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Turnovers and some cold shooting by this Golden Lions Club. Well, you look at the shooting percentages, both teams are shooting over 
Great back How four. About that? And that's Jack Perry finding Wood. Great off the ball cut by Wood and Perry with his head up. Again, one of the ways to alleviate that ball pressure or entry pressure is to go back door and they just did it. Whoa. Nice job. Nine and three now for Wood. Nine points, three rebounds. Solid first half. Transfer out of UNLV. He's just super versatile, like I mentioned earlier. He can score in so many ways, play so many positions. I mean, when you have a kid like that on the floor, good things are going to happen. Wood had that double-double against Willamette with 16 and 15. He's just super solid. 7-0, pilot run. The lead can go double digits. Wood. Kind of lowered his shoulder a little bit, but it was Stokes who gets whistled for that foul. His first, well, more and, free throws. And right now, like we talked about, the kind of pressure that Arkansas Pine Bluff plays in day in and day out. Right now, they're kind of getting themselves in a position where they can't play the one way they want to play. And so when you do that, you get out of what you're trying to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You're going to struggle a little bit. You bet. So keep in mind, Trey Sampson, the transfer out of Northeastern State for Arkansas Pine Bluff, second leading scorer, has not played, is not scheduled to play, and that is a big hole in this Golden Lion lineup. For sure. And they haven't scored in the last five minutes. 12 for 12 from the charity stripe is Wood on the season. Five-minute drought to Jen's point. Biggest lead of the game, double figures for the Pilots. Well, the thing that's really important is Portland can't let up. Great block inside by Sholin. And this bench is up for the Pilots. Great job by Sholin. And that's just a little frustration foul off the rebound. You can't pick that one up, especially with a team that's in foul trouble the way they are. You know, that's 93 feet from the hoop. Sholin with the block and Brown with the frustration foul. That's his second. Christian, transfer out of UTEP. Also had a couple of years at Georgia Tech. I mean, Jen, basically, well, about what, 75% of the pilot club that we saw last year under Terry Porter, gone. Yeah, it's, it's all new guys. I think there's three returners. Yep. And uh, I really like the class that he's brought in here, the kind of guys they are. I mean, high character guys, when we spoke to them in the interviews, I mean, well-spoken, and they are all on board. 41-28. Pilots doing a nice job at the charity stripe. They're taking advantage of some cold Arkansas Pine Bluff shooting. 11-0 run for the Pilots. Eight on the shot clock now. Well, like we talked about, you can live and die by the three. More quick hands, that time Wood. Here comes Perry. You can be patient here if you're the Pilots, Jen. Good decision of just getting that back out and running. Nice little high-low. Ah. That's unfortunate. Vucinic just not able to flag that down, the offering from Perry. Little high. It looks like he got held a little bit, not able to just release and go get that ball. Jack Perry can't believe he didn't catch it. Man, I'm high low on those guys every time down, Jen, unless I am wide open for a three. I punish this club down low. And it's working for him. Why not go back to it, right? 10 on the shot clock for Williams. Wanted to step back. Good D by Wood. Two on the shot clock. Oh. And a nice finish inside by Stokes. Nice take. Yep. Way to, you know, take the contact and finish in the air. Nice take. As that shot clock buzzer was about to introduce itself, Stokes hits. Big bucket. Ends the drought for the Golden Lions. Inside. Vucinic, good patience there and just attracted the contact. He'll go to the line. I love what I see from him tonight. Like I've said, in the first couple contests, he's just gone a little bit fast. But he's very poised tonight, smart, good footwork. Doyne picks up that foul. I mean, when you look at the size advantage there, height advantage there, that was just a well-played opportunity for Vucinic to draw that foul. And I really loved 
what they've done. They've made an adjustment maybe 10 minutes into this game where they're switching everything. They've strictly gone inside, which has opened up the perimeter a few times. But, I mean, they're just punishing them in the paint. It was 30 to 28 with about 7.45 left to go in this half. And look at the score now. Wow. Portland doing great inside and at the charity stripe. You love that. That's high percentage stuff. Well, we talked about it, them being in a bonus with 10 minutes to go in the half, and they have made them pay. You bet. Lead is 13. One minute left to go. The strength of Williams on the little step back to let the defender go by. He's got 15. He's smooth. Man, right at his season average. Woo! Big possession here for the Pilots. See if they can answer. Here's Harvey. Uh, nice job by Vargas to come over the top on the weak side. Turnover yeah. Pilots. Harvey's got to see that guard from the backside. Parchman did a great job crashing the boards there. He was surrounded by Pilots, draws the foul. And again, just not putting a body on somebody ahead of the, when the shot's going up, they got to put, put a body instead of just relying on their athleticism. Bucinic flag for that personal foul. So Parchman, the transfer out of Rend Lake Community College. Starting in place of Trey Sampson. Nice stick for the senior. And if you're the Golden Lions, you want to be within 10 at half just to feel kind of good about how things may transpire in the second half. For sure, you know, they've got themselves in foul trouble. They have not shot the ball well in the last seven minutes. And they're still in the game. Wow, another rebound that just goes off the hands of the Pilots. And Coach is not going to be happy with that, giving nope. up a, a board off of a free throw. Yeah. You look at the body language of legs and, uh-huh. You know, that, that's young guys making little mistakes here and there, and that's what you learn from these preseason games. But down the road, that kind of stuff can really cost you. All right, so now the Pilots in a little bit of a drought. It's been over mm, three minutes since they've scored. But body of work first half, what do you like about Portland's game? Well, I thought they've done a great job of going inside, and that's the bottom line. I mean, they haven't scored field goals in the last three minutes because they've been at the free throw line the whole time. So they've still been productive. Uh, I just think that right now, their advantage inside, they just got to keep going back to it. What a different feel and energy level. Just the, the, the whole environment in the Child Center is night and day different, Jen. Oh, it's, it's a completely different program right now. And I love what he's doing. Like I said, every single one of these guys is bought in. I mean, the managers, for goodness sakes. Yep. I mean, every single buddy, every single person is, is ready to go. Shot clock at 15. Game clock a few seconds past that. Let's see if Portland can play some good D. We're down to eight now on the shot clock. There's the double. Williams gets it back. Clever. Williams, you bet. 17 now for Williams. He has carried this club. Oh, he sure has. I mean, that was, they had him trapped. Got the ball out, kept going. Found him in that corner and then again created he creates his shots. I mean, we were talking to Coach Bozeman again, like he's not that just stand shooter. He is, he creates and he's obviously scored, what, 17 points now? Yep, and five quick points by this Arkansas Pine Bluff Club. So the lead now, I mean, they gotta like where they're sitting right here because just a moment ago, they were down by 13. Oh, absolutely. And that offensive board off the free throw, instead of going in the halftime, at least down 10, now they're in a situation where they're, you know, it's an eight-point game. So let's see what the Pilots could do with just a smidge over seven. A lot of time to get a quality shot off. Oh, yeah, you can you can get uh, four or five dribbles down the floor with this. Let it run a little bit. Get to the rim. I mean, again, draw the foul and get yourself to the free throw line. Nice read by Robertson. He's coming hard to the rack. Nice. Look at the follow by Vucinic. Great job by the freshman, 10 points now. What a follow by Vucinic, and that was huge. That got the bench up big time. The lead is now 10 for the Pilots at the break. 
I mean, that's just a heady play by the youngster. Pilots by 10.
Welcome back to the Child Center. We're on the campus of the University of Portland where the hometown pilots lead Arkansas Pine Bluff 45-35 at the break. Solid first half for the pilots, Jennifer Mountain. What do you like about this game so far for these guys? I love the points in the paint. 24 points in the paint. I mean, absolutely, the Arkansas Pine Bluff had no answer. And, you know, 12 points off their turnovers. The bench had nine points, so people are contributing. I think every single guy that played scored except for Jack Perry, and he's facilitating and doing everything that he needs to do in the half court. Uh, just a great performance by all of them. Love the free throw shooting as well, getting Arkansas Pine Bluff, some of their main guys, into some foul trouble and taking advantage at the free throw line. Anything about these stats, numbers-wise, stick out to you? Well, the 13 turnovers are huge for them. And like you said, you, you, compl you know, compl compile that with their foul trouble, and good things happen for Portland all, all night long. Well, you got to tip your cap to Sean Williams. You talked about him before the game even started in terms of guys to watch. He did not disappoint. Man, it was the Sean Williams show. <laughs> I mean, from three, he went to the lane. He made things happen. And right now, Portland, I thought, did a great job about the 10-minute mark of kind of switching things up defensively, made it a little bit more difficult for him to score, but he just doesn't have any help right now. 17 points, scoring half the club's tally at this point. And how about Mo Wood just getting it after it on both ends of the floor? Again, versatile guy. I mean, 11 points, four rebounds. He can shoot it. He's defending. He's, you know, doing all the little things. And he poses a problem because of his versatility for people. You know, here's a great fun fact that our play-by-play -play friend, Brian Slyke, dug up. Moses Wood and Sean Williams played against each other two times back in 2018-19. Wood was with Tulane. Williams was with ECU. How about that? These guys go way back. They sure do. And they're both playing well tonight. Williams had a career best 27 points in that game. Wood had a double-double, 15 and 12. That was the second time they played each other. ECU on it, by the way, 85-81. <laughs> Brian Slyke, I thank you deeply. That's great stuff, digging that up. He is Wikipedia. I'm telling you, you know, he and you have been working some great pilot ga games together. I finally got to jump the chair here. Brian was gracious enough to let me take a shot at it tonight, but uh, thanks for that nugget, pal. It means a lot. All right, second half, moments away. What are you looking for as far as the pilots are concerned? Well, I think they come back and they do a great job of, again, trying to assert and get the ball inside. It's gonna open up the perimeter, and I just right now, uh, you know, Arkansas Pine Bluff did not have an answer for him. I mean, this game is so much fun. Robertson's waiting to inbound it, and he's high-fiving fans who are going yeah. to their seat. I'm telling you, you've got to come out and watch these guys play. Totally different vibe. Oh, oh baby. And with authority, Wood flushes it down. Oh, baby. Well, that's a way to start a half right there. I mean, great backdoor cut, relieve the pressure, and an awesome finish. So the lead is 12. At one point, the Pilots had a 13-point lead late in that first half. It's 12 now, and the Pilots can add to it. Swinging the ball, that's what Legs wants this guy to do. Oh, oh foul away from the ball. And it's going to go against Vucinic, his second. I don't know. I mean, from my vantage point, it, it just looked like he was trying to post up hard, and you can see that Portland automatically is trying to look inside for him right from the get-go. You know what, Jen, if I'm him, I'd do the exact same thing, go right back down and get on that low block. Absolutely. All right. The Golden Lions looking for their first win of the season, and they've got an uphill climb. Working the weave, great feed inside, wild shot, good defense by Wood inside. Here comes Portland. Austin inside, Bucinich. Single coverage. Wood. Love the ball swings. Yep, ball fake. Vucinic loses the handle, sticks with it. And it looks like Vucinic is going to get nicked again. Nope. It's going to go against Wood, his first, team second. You know, I don't mind that possession, though. I know they, they didn't end up scoring there, but just great ball movement. They're sharing the basketball inside, outside. And I love how they've come out in this second half. Lead is still a dozen for the Pilots. We're early in the second half here at the Child Center. On the switch, Robertson now on Williams. Williams, step back, so strong. And that's a tough assignment right there for Robertson. 
19 now for Williams. Again, carrying this club. No Trey Sampson. He is not playing. One of the leading scorers for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Big block inside. Nice job by Milton, who's playing with foul trouble. And really good defense by Williams right there to not pick up a foul on the penetration from Robinson. Williams has two fouls. Milton, the leading scorer, has three. And remember, no Trey Sampson. Yeah, that's really hurt them this evening. Bucinich wants it inside. Instead, it's a three-point delivery. And here comes Arkansas Pine Bluff on the miss. Nicely done all the way to the brick. Rack is Brown. Well, transition D, you got to stop the ball. Meadows almost got away with the push off there. Well, they called him again for yep. another one, trying to post up, and I just don't know if he's just, uh, there it is right there, official said it. He's got two hands behind trying to hold him, and you can't do that. So three now in terms of personal fouls on Bucinic. And make that four. My goodness. Well, we're gonna get Zoe here in the game, just adds a little bit more strength inside. He's actually very versatile for a big man. Silvera checking in. Again, the active wood comes up with the miss. Step through. Charge will go against the Portland Pilots. So Austin picks up his third, fourth team foul. Well, in the last three times down the floor, offensive fouls. You know, you hate to see that, but I like how aggressive they're being, regardless. They're not backing down. They're trying to get to the rim, make things happen. Like I said, they don't have an answer for him in the paint, and that's why he was posting up so strong. Need a defensive stop right here if you're Portland. In a big way as Perry checks back in. So the Pilots open up the second half with a huge slam. And then some calls going against the hometown pilots and allows this Arkansas Pine Bluff group to stick around. Well, and again, a, a team that's really dangerous from the three-point line. And you don't have a big enough cushion to let up at all. Because threes can get you back in it real fast. And they love to shoot them. Again, Arkansas Pine Bluff averaging 34 three-point attempts a game. A lot of threes. Here's one. Rimming out is Harris. Offensive rebound. Fortunate there, not giving up a, a second chance point. Yeah, Parchman had a wide open look and missed it. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Robertson and company. Now we're down to 10. Robertson off the pick. Back rim and off. Ball lands into the hands of Williams. He wants to push. Hesitates. Nicely played. The kick. Extra pass. Brown. You bet. Good ball movement by this Arkansas Pine Bluff group. Absolutely. Great job. And it started with Williams' penetration and a, sw a big swing. An extra pass and a great shot. Ah. And a turnover as Robertson loses the handle. The lead is now down to five, and Arkansas Pine Bluff has the ball. Well, it's turnovers, and those offensive fouls are just like having a turnover, and this is what Shantae talked about. They cannot turn the basketball over and expect to win ball games. So the Golden Lions riding a seven to nothing run, and when we come back, they will have the ball. So the lead is down to five for the Pilots. They want to talk about it back in a moment.
47, 42 pilots. The lead down to five, Jennifer Mountain, as the Golden Lions give them credit. They have hung tough and feeling like they can cap this rally. Yeah, they've outscored them seven to two, and they're in a 7-0 run the last two and a half minutes. And uh, just too many turnovers. Three turnovers for Portland ended up in points for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Naduka on the floor for the Portland Pilots and quickly picks up the foul as Williams tries to drive by him and Chica with his first, team's fifth. Well, two-hand touch, automatic foul for officials. He's got to keep his hands off and just move his feet. Smart play, though, by Williams. Knew he could get the edge and did. There's the switch again. And he wants to drive against Naduka. Good board on the weak side by the Portland Pilots, Meadow Skies. And he does a nice job in the point guard spot of, of rebounding. Seven transfers for this Portland Pilot group. One of the leading teams in the transfer department in Division I. Uh-oh. Naduka, Parchman hit the floor hard. So, Parchman is whistled for that foul. And another quick timeout will be taken under the 16 minute mark. The Pilots holding on to that five point lead. Things have slowed just a bit. But the Pilots still with that lead here on their own home floor. Stretch run should be fun here at the Child Center. Come on back. Here at the Child Center, Pilots leading the visiting Red Lions from Arkansas Pine Bluff, 47-42. And shots along with Jennifer Mountain. Delighted to have you with us on this rainy night in the Rose City. It's kind of getting to that point, J-Mo, where if the Pilots can find a way to get back on track inside, they can extend that lead. And you, you got to think they're going to be trying to do that early and often. Well, they just need to respond. They did this the other night, just kind of regain their composure. You know, they haven't scored after that dunk in the beginning of the half. They haven't scored until now. What shot by Robertson on the weak side, getting open and just pulling the trigger. He's got eight points to go along with a handful of rebounds. The, the thing that I love about him is that he just knows when he needs to make a play. Like they needed that shot big time. Last year at Eastern Washington, the Big Sky top reserve. Well, he's going to play a ton of minutes here when he's healthy, and he's going to start a ton here when he's healthy. Well, and I, I, I think they're going to look to go inside to him a little bit, too. Chica with the offensive rebound. Bench is up. Naduka doing his thing. And that's what he does. That's what he is all about, going and getting the basketball. So Milton picks up his fourth. That's big. 
15 that, that seconds. Hurt, that hurts. Oh. oh, man. So Milton will go to the bench. Soft touch inside for Wood. Little half hook is true. He's got 15. Again, just such a hard matchup for teams because he's so versatile. What a start in his Portland pilot career. I mean, gosh, 16 and 15 against Willamette. Had 14 against Alcorn. Another board. Perry pulls up. Front rim and off. Skying there and well done is Stokes and he wants to run. Williams. Block is going to go against Naduka. I like Harris taking that big leap of faith along the baseline. Absolutely. The one thing, uh, I, I love the way that Portland has responded. You know, they were, it was a five point lead a minute and a half ago, and they have responded by making good, good decisions in transition, defensively locked down a little bit, and just, they're hitting some big shots. So Naduka now has two 16 fouls on the pilots. And you gotta be really happy if you're Coach Liggins to see that response from a team that's so young and hasn't been together like a lot oh. of teams they're gonna play against. Without question. A little bit of a confusion on the call here. Let's see what's going on. So Brown is going to be called for that foul. His third, team's third. There was some confusion as to who that foul was going to be called on. Well, and again, here's a little bit more pressure. Full court man to man trying to pick up and trying to make it go a little fast. The lead is nine for the Pilots. Just under 14 mm. to play. Robertson almost threw it away. Wood. Instead, on the short corner, hits the three. 18 points, his Portland Pilot career high. Well, that went to an almost turnover to a great shot in the corner. Big play by Moses Wood. Wood has just been outstanding on both ends of the floor. Again, the transfer out of UNLV. Before that, Tulane, we told you that. Finding a home here in Portland. Good hands by Perry. Here comes Portland. Got numbers. Wood step back. So Wood with the Portland Pilot career high, a personal career high, just an awesome job. And Harris will pick up the foul as Wood aggressively looking for his shot. The thing about it is, is he takes good shots. I mean, he's not forcing anything. It's taking what's coming to him and just making plays. 18 points and seven boards now for the youngster out of Reno. Almost turned it over, but with 22 left on the shot clock, it stays with Portland. Pilots taking advantage of a little mini cold spell by the Golden Lions. Boy, whistle blowing a ton. Well, it's getting a little bit physical, very handsy, and officials are trying to clean it up. Stredek with his fourth. I mean, both teams right now, you know, are a foul or two fouls away from being in the bonus with 13 left in the half. So Williams sits down. Great look by Perry as Naduka found that low block for the easy deuce. Good execution in the half, in the baseline out of bounds. The lead is 14 now for the Pilots. So as the refs try and figure this out, the two leading scorers, Williams sits down for Arkansas Pine Bluff at delay of game on legs. So Williams sits down for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Remember, Milton has been sitting with the four fouls. Who's going to score? I don't know. Well, I guess it might be Brown. He's been pretty solid tonight. Yeah, he's actually made some great plays for them. And yeah. You know, right now they're going to end up with a technical because this is a second warning. Correct. That's correct. On the delay of game. 
I don't I don't like I don't think the officials like how much they're standing up. Well, I got a feeling that isn't gonna stop legs. Well, I think they, they really got the assistant coach, one of them. All right, Arkansas Pine Bluff with the ball, down 13, just under 13 to play in this second half. Great nice first take. step by Stokes. Nice take. Yep. And that's what they needed. Maybe High he'll percentage. be the guy that's going to answer. Let's see if the pilots have an answer. Off the pick, Wood. He thought that thing was down. Look at Robertson. Can't score. 50-50 ball. Perry's got it. Ah. Loses it. Gets it right back. Oh, baby. Good hands. Meadows with the stutter step. Naduka steps into the deuce and hits it. Crowd is into it now. Five points now for Naduka. He had the double-double against Willamette. And there's the block. Here comes Perry. Naduka with the rejection. Great weak side help. Oh, missed him. Meadows. And trying to crash the boards are the pilots. And foul is going to go against the Portland pilots. And Robertson, you could tell by his reaction, was frustrated with the call. This place was going to just be up for grabs if that triple from Meadows had dropped. Instead, Robertson picks up the foul. And yet, when we come back, the pilots still sitting on a 13-point lead. Fifty nine forty six pilots leading the visiting Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Robertson still talking saying hey I was just cool for that weak side board. Yeah I mean again I think it's getting pretty physical and the, the officials are trying to clean it up a little bit but you hate to see a, a call like that on just effort. So Tyler picks up his third personal foul. Austin has three. Bucinich has four for the Portland Pilots. Milton with four personal fouls. He's been sitting. Mm. Again, yeah, not a block out. Give him a second chance. It's just not, a, just can't do it. Milton back on the floor, as is Williams for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Down the stretch, they've got to have these guys playing some heavy, heavy duty minutes. Wood just misses the end one. He'll go to the line. Change in pace and direction quickly is Mo Wood as Brown picks up his fourth, team's sixth. Well, I feel like both teams right now are in foul trouble, and we're going to be in the bonus both sides for the rest of the half almost. 
11.24 to go, and we're going to see a lot of free throws. Wood perfect from the line in this game and in the season. Four for four today. So he's 13 for 13 from the charity stripe is Wood. Again, seven incoming transfers, fourth most in the country. And I think that uh, as far as international players, yeah, us and Arizona State have the most international players right now. I think it's Arizona, or Arizona, sorry. That's all right. Stokes, three-pointer. Massive pick by Robertson. Good screen. Oh. So Harvey is going to be whistled for that charge. Bodies flying. And that was an easy call. He just yep. lowered his shoulder and went right through him. But right now, Portland's getting themselves out of what they were doing, which was moving the basketball, sharing it, getting some rhythm. It's too fast. Need a defensive stop right here. Harvey's first foul, team's eight. And Wood will take a seat. Sholin reports to the floor for the Pilots. And with 11 minutes left, this game is still in the balance. 11 point pilot lead. Milton can't get the roll. And Brown draws the foul. So Sholin on the weak side rebound effort picks up the foul. And Brown to the charity stripe. Brown had the 14 rebounds against Creighton. And Arkansas Pine Bluff had a big lead against a very good Creighton team in Omaha before the wheels kind of came off in that second half. Yeah, I mean, Creighton's a great basketball team. And, you know, talking to Coach Bozeman, you know, he was like, we just started turning the ball over and not making shots, but they had a chance. And it, that's the thing about this team. I mean, you can see it right now. They have spurts of greatness, and then they struggle. Career high 11 points now for Brown. He has stepped up nicely, known for his rebounding, but he is scoring tonight. Robertson wanted to go back door instead. There's the pick for Harvey. Drive, kick. Good position by Brown on the rebound. Ah. Look at that block by Naduka. He's had a couple of them. And he's got a mismatch right here. Brown, double-double. Oh. Unlucky there as Robertson lost the handle. Plenty Great of time idea. on the shot clock, you bet. The strength of Robertson shows there. And just smarts right there, just smooth. He knew he had the advantage inside. And he can score in the paint. He did that the other night. He wasn't shooting the ball that well from the perimeter and went inside and made a huge difference. Missed the first two games of the season, did Robertson. His debut with the Pilots, something else. 19 and five. And honestly, like, difference maker in that game because most of his production was in the second half and they really needed it. Great hands by Stokes, turnover. Great hands by Stokes. You know that Arkansas Pine Bluff is gonna bring the heat. So Naduka with his third personal foul. I'm not sure if they're gonna go look at something. Obviously, a couple of the officials are talking and now explaining something to the scorer's table as both teams will go to their respective benches. So a video review 
as the initial call was on Naduka, if that stands, it'll be his third. I, I think they're trying to look to see if it was an intentional foul because he grabbed him in the open court so he didn't have a chance at that layup. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of right this second. Because he's going to go reach for it right here. See that? You know, immediately Naduka said, hey, I got him, I got him, I got him. And we'll see if what you said, Jen, if it was intentional, but I think it's just going to be yeah. a foul, you know, clear clear path and all that. But, you know, the, the, the reach wasn't that egregious, I don't think. No, not at all. And right now, I mean, it, uh, Portland's put them in the two-shot bo bonus. So the rest of the way, they're going to get two shots from the free throw line. Arkansas Pine Bluff, an 81% free throw shooting team coming into tonight's contest and just really not getting to the line very often in this season. Yeah, Coach Bozeman talked about that the other night, especially with the athletes that they have that can create. You gotta get yourself to the line, especially if you're struggling to score. And here comes the pressure. And you, I expect the intensity level here in the last nine minutes to really jump up. Perry handles the heat from Stokes. Got the double, finds Harvey. Kick, Robertson, front rim and off. It's a good kick and it's a good shot for him. Just got to knock it down. Good defense. Great defense by Robertson to cut off Milton. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Williams. Deep three, front rim and off. Tyler with the board. Austin has been very quiet for the Pilots tonight, Jen. He has, and uh, just really not in his personality from what we've seen so far. Got into that early foul trouble. Boy, and there's the answer. Yeah. I'd love for him to just look over at me and say, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was okay. right on cue. Okay, lady. <laughs> Nine points now for Austin. That's a big stick. He gives you 18 a pop. 65-52, Williams Ooh. with the answer. What a shot. I mean, he had defense right in his face. 21 now for Williams. Wow. He has just been fun to watch. Good skip pass. Can Perry find the scoring column? You bet, and it's a big triple. Great skip. And Jack Perry is deadly from the three-point line. Great and, answer. Yep, and every pilot has scored as Williams draws the foul. He wanted the and one. Great body control as he elevates. So every pilot who has hit the floor has scored. Harvey with that foul, by the way. When we come back, Williams will have a couple of charity tosses. 68-54, 7.32 left to go in this game. You have the feeling this could go down to the wire, baby. Seven thirty-two left to go in this ball game. Portland leading Arkansas Pine Bluff 
54. Chris Austin just sticking that huge three, has been a little quiet in foul trouble early, but boy, he came through there. Well, the, the thing that's nice about a player like this is he doesn't try to do too much. He's taking what's given to him. He's been in foul trouble. You know, there's still a lot of, le lot of time left in the ball game. And, you know, we got three, pe three people in double figures right now, and that just shows you that if he's not scoring, somebody else can step up and make, make a play. Wood with the 19 points to lead the Portland Pilots. And then you got a couple of guys with 10 points apiece. Vucinic, Robertson, and Austin right behind at nine. And Williams just keeps doing his, his thing. 23 now, his career high is 27. Well, he's been phenomenal. Yep. And there's a lot of time left to go in this game. Every possession so critical. Back door. Oh. Great ball fake, Robertson, front rim and off. Oh. And that foul is going to go against the Portland Pilots. So Sholin picks up his second. That's a wide open look for Robertson. He usually cans those. Yeah, he's upset with himself right now for missing that. I think it kind of came off his hand funny. He's not going to get too many of those open looks. So Doolittle. Doolittle, a sub for the Golden Lions, looking for his first point of the season. Again, to remind you, no Trey Sampson for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And there he is. This is his first free throw, first point of the season. Well done. Ah. Great job by Williams. I can't tell who got that block. I, I think, think it was Wood. Wood. Yeah. Well, great hustle play because you turn the ball over, you certainly don't want to soak, but he gets back and, huh? Looks like Perry had good hands, yeah. Wood. Boy, Meadows and Williams going for that 50-50 ball. Wide open look. And rebounds right now. Portland's got to do a job of locking it down on the boards. You're going to give Doolittle that shot, but you're right. Man, you've got to get those long rebounds off the miss because here's Williams. Step back. Ooh, he thought that thing was home. Yeah, and he's, he's made some tough shots. I mean, he's had people in his face all night long. Golden Lions cold from the floor, not able to put much of a dent into the deficit with 6.20 left to go in this game. Good catch by Perry. Seven on the shot clock. Really good hands by the sub, Doolittle. So Austin picks up his fourth. And back-to-back -back turnovers off of ball handling. You know, when, they, when they're swinging the ball, they're really good. Right now, they got to stop putting it on the ground so much and get an entry pass and get some cuts going. So Doolittle back to the line. Transfer out of Itawamba Community College. So he's hit one of three free throws. And because of the Portland Pilot free throw situation in terms of going against them, Arkansas Pine Bluff can ill afford to miss these charity tosses. Absolutely. Portland's got 13 fouls in the half so far. And Doolittle is one of four. That hurts. The lead is still 11 for the Pilots. Need a great offensive possession with some flow here. Naduka showed pick, then the roll, nothing there. Meadows. Ball taken away. Brown gets it right back and scores. What a game for Brown. He's got the double-double, and he's been tough. 
Good hands. 13 and 11, Core Brown, also out of Itawamba Community College in Mississippi. We wondered kind of who was going to help in the scoring department for Williams, and Brown has done a great job again. Usually the rebounding guy for this club, not a scorer. He's done it both tonight. Well, and Coach Bozeman's going to be really happy because, again, when you're missing somebody, you know, that's that important that can score that many points, it's, it's somebody else has got to step up, and it's good character to find out who's going to do what for your ball club. Portland's got to respond here. Again, three turnovers in a row. You know, still have a comfortable lead, but there's still a ton of time left yep. in this ball game. They need great offensive possessions, and they can't just send them to the free throw line every single time down the floor. You know, while I'm thinking of it, should mention that the Pilots' homestand continues. On November 20th, Morgan State will be in town. Jen and I will have the call on Saturday for that game. While the road trip continues for this Arkansas Pine Bluff Club, they'll be in Seattle on Monday the 22nd. Yeah, they're on the road. A ton. Yep. Every possession so critical. What a great pass by Robertson. And I'll tell you, Naduka got that defender on his hip. No problem. Well, great call out of the timeout. Went right back to the high-low, which was working the whole first half. No basket. Robertson draws the charge. He's going to be a little slow to get up. So that is it for Milton. He will foul out the leading scorer for this club. Great job of Boy. staying outside the restricted circle. There it is. And again, that's a veteran making smart plays for your ball club. Milton finishing with but five points. He averages 16 points a game, does Kylan Milton to lead this Arkansas Pine Bluff Club. He and could just never get in a rhythm nope, today. Never. In foul trouble from the get-go. Yep. Boy, that was a big play by Robertson. Yeah, he just makes big plays when they really need him. Perry, Robertson, Meadows, all following legs from Eastern Washington to the University of Portland. And again, looking for that high-low option inside. They just have not had an answer. And Cheek is to the free throw line. So fouls piling up for both clubs, Naduka. One for three going into this attempt. Look good, is good. Naduka just a freshman. I just wonder where he's gonna be in a month from now, two oh. months from now. Yeah, the experience and the playing time. He's just gonna get better and better oh, every night out. Big free throws from the youngster. Great defense, and that is tag team defense by the Pilots. Stokes whistled for the travel. They really do a great job from the weak side, recognizing when and when not to help. Smart when they come over. And it's just that team collective effort, and this is what they've been talking about all season long. You know, for a group that really hasn't played together too long, I, I like where they're at with it. There was a great moment with Wood and Williams just a few seconds ago. Remember those two played against each other. Feels like forever ago when Wood was at Tulane and Williams was at East Carolina and they just kind of nodded and kind of giggled. Maybe they were rehashing big game for both of those guys way back in 2019. Well, you never know what's being said on the floor, that's for <laughs> sure. A little trash talking here and there, but. I got to think both of those guys were saying, hey, well done tonight. Yeah, a lot of respect. Yep. So 72-59, just under five minutes to go. 
Jen, you know, scoreboard says all Portland, but as a former player and coach, you know there's a lot of time left for a, a team that can score in bunches like Arkansas Pine Bluff. Oh yeah, you cannot put your foot off the gas pedal here. I mean, 13 points, the way they pressure and the way that they can score quickly, you, you just can't stop. And the thing that a lot of teams do is they start going too slow. You don't want to go too slow, you want to stay in a flow. You want to extend this lead instead of just play and win. You know, you got to play to win. Roy taking care of the basketball now, huh? Yep. It's going to be huge. Wood smartly finding Meadows. And the finish. That's the way you break the heat. Absolutely. And I like that he had the open lane and went and finished instead of pulling it back out right there. Good take by Mike, recognizing what he had at the cup. And they've switched their defense out of the timeout. Lead is 15 now for the Pilots. Robertson, big weak side rebound. Great board. 6 nothing Pilot run. Meadows takes the pick. And he'll step back and hit again. Chris is getting hot. Well, that's one way to do it right there. Two quick scores. Eight points, four assists now. Good hands by Perry. Austin in foul trouble early on, but man, he comes off the bench and just lights it up. Well, that's the, the great thing about this group is it, it could be anybody. They have multiple weapons that they can go to, and it's, you know, if it's not Robinson making a big play, it's Meadows right there, two big shots. Now I'm kind of liking this lead with under four to go. I know, I know, we got a ways to go, but it's 17 now. Pilots in control, come on back. J-Mo, the lead is 17 now for the Pilots, under four minutes to go. How'd they get that lead up to this margin? Well, just smart offensive plays. Handle the pressure, you know, right Sorry off the that. bat. Meadows went, finished with that layup, and then hits a nice little mid-range jumper. Quick four, extends this lead to 17. So up next, at home against Morgan State Saturday, then at Portland State. That's going to be a fun one. Montana State after that. All right, five on the shot clock. Nice touch. And Doolittle getting major playing time for the first time this season and hits his first basket of the season. Naduka. Good decision. Time is your friend. Meadows steps through good hands. So Harlson with the good hands. Good hands, and I actually think it went off Robertson's leg. 76-61, 3.20 left to go for Williams and the Golden Lions. Ooh, how about Doolittle? Consecutive buckets by Doolittle. He came into this game with no points at all and has done a great job off the bench. Again, you know, they're spreading the floor. 
Don't want to take too, time much, too much time off the clock. They need to get into a bit of better flow. Robertson down low. What a great look to Naduka. And I mean the defense left Chica all by himself. Good look by Robertson. Good find down low. And that's 40 points in the paint for Portland tonight. Wow. And 11 points for Naduka as Williams scores again, nearing his career high. He's got 25. Naduka again, missing badly on that high percentage shot. Williams is just gonna let her fly. Oh, baby! Career high now for Williams with 31. And this just guy like just that. won't let him go away. Yeah, just like that. I'm telling you, threes can get you right back in. He's got 28 points make it on 28. the night. Yep, make it 28. I was a little uh, ambitious, but still a career high for Williams. He's been fun to watch. I gotta, you gotta give the guy props. Oh, I mean, and these are big time shots. I mean, it's not just wide open looks. He is hitting shots with somebody in his face all night long. Seventy-eight, sixty-nine, two oh eight left. We stand. So both teams huddling. Pilots trying to figure out how to seal the deal and close this thing out. 208 left. Come on back for the stretch run. So with 2.08 left to go here at the Child Center, the Pilots leading Arkansas Pine Bluff 78-69. Well, Arkansas Pine Bluff has made their last four buckets. Four to four from the floor. Sticking around, Doolittle with a couple. Williams with a career high, he's got 28. Robertson can't get the roll. Naduka, yeah! Huge offensive wow. board right there and put back. 13 and 6 now for Naduka. Wow! 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 Okay, now he's got 31. Just making big time shots. Man! I mean, he had two guys flying at him in his head. And everybody in the joint knows he's shooting it. Yeah. Everybody knows he's shooting it. Yeah. 10 on the shot clock for Wood. Ooh, offensive foul against the Pilots. Well, this becomes so, a huge defensive yeah. possession right now. Portland has to get a stop. Wow. So Wood picks up that offensive foul. He's got two. It's 80 to 72. A buck five left to go in regulation. Arkansas Pine Bluff has hit their last five straight shots. Williams picks up the dribble on the double. Doolittle with the triple. And there's Robinson with a good defensive board. And again, just patience coming this way. Good decision. When Williams gave up that ball on the double team, you were thinking to yourself, who's gonna take the shot? And again, Doolittle's been okay tonight, but you're gonna give him that shot every time. Williams picks up his third foul. He's done a great job, has Sean Williams, in staying out of further foul trouble when he picked up his second in that first half. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. And man, he's just had a tremendous offensive oh. evening. Big free throw 
by the veteran Mike Meadows. Well, this, like this, this next lead. one's even bigger. It makes it a four possession game with 41 seconds to go. With all these free throws, the game's kind of been chugging along at a slower pace. But the pilots don't care if this score holds. Five pilots in double figures as Brown hits down low. So quick timeout by Arkansas Pine Bluff, 82-74 with 33.9 left to go. Again, Jen, five pilots in double figures. Yeah, and it's just tremendous. I mean, it's depth. You know, it's different weapons. It's They're scoring in different ways and making plays. And, you know, it's veterans. It's, it's, it's guys, like, really coming together and making things happen. Right now, if you're Arkansas Pine Bluff, you're going to try to make a, a quick steal here, automatic foul, and send them to the free throw line and hope that they miss free throws right now. That's what it's going to come down to is knocking down free throws. Bottom line is you got to get the ball in bounds. Ball in bounds. Be really careful about where you put the ball on the floor when you do get it in bounds because of the quick hands. Yeah, I don't think you put it on the ground. You shoot that thing and let him come foul you or make a quick pass. Or just do that. Or just do that. Or just do that. And that's why Robinson takes the ball out. Right there. Smart heads up play. Naduka tying a career high. What a great game he has had, Naduka, with the 15 points. Perry does a really nice job of altering Williams' shot. That's good defense. Really right good team. Again, right over the top. Careful now. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about Naduka a lot this season. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the coaching staff has had nothing but praise. And just how hard he plays. He's got the knack for where the basketball is, and it's something you can't really teach. Does the little things, plays really hard. Runs the floor well. You know, he's, he's just, he's in every scrum. Yep. He's doing all the dirty work. Wood now with 21. And how great has Wood been from the free throw line this entire season? I know we're only a few games in, but every time he goes to the line, it's money. He's got a smooth stroke on the ball. He's confident. And again, versatile, really versatile. So this game is basically in the books. And the two clubs will play it out as such. The crowd is standing. Nice victory for the Portland Pilots. It's going to go down as an 86-74 win against a really gritty Arkansas Pine Bluff club. I mean, they just pulled it together. Whenever Arkansas Pine Bluff made a run, they remained, remained poised, held it together, responded, and that's the sign of a good team. And right now, they're so young, and it's so early in the season, there's great upside for these guys. Would you like, when you look at the entire game, ebbs and flows for the Pilots, what really stands out? I love how they went inside and then opened up the perimeter later in the second half, but they didn't have an answer for them, especially down low in the paint. And man, I just think that guys made big plays when they needed to. And I thought defensively, they did a better job in the second half. Once they made that adjustment in the first half of switching everything, it took them out. But I mean, Williams had a, ter a terrific night. I mean, didn't matter what they did. Huge night offensively. Yeah, he was really something for the Golden Lions. But tip your cap, the depth of the Portland Pilots, so many different scoring weapons will hurt a defense. Oh, absolutely. And this is something that they're not used to. I mean, they have multiple, multiple guys that can score. I mean, Chris Austin is a, an absolutely great offensive player and really very quiet tonight. But look at what everybody else did. And that's what they're going to need day in and day out throughout the season. So five in double figures led by Wood with 21. And Naduka with 15. I mean, that's balance, that's depth. You're going inside, you're going outside. A little of this, a little of that. Yeah, it's the complete package. And that's what 
that's what they need. I mean, that's what's going to make them successful down the road. And again, you know, more guys that get experience right now, it's only going to help them in conference play. Nice win for the Pilots, going to three and one, and making hay in this current homestand. It, this is big stuff for a club that, uh, you know, has struggled to win at home or away the last few years, and we're delighted to have Mo Wood slipping on the headset. You know, you guys showed some depth tonight, Mo. You had a heck of a game. Walk us through the mindset of your club when Arkansas Pine Bluff would get close on occasion, but you guys were able to extend that lead. Uh, I think that's just a credit to all the work we put in the summer. Like, obviously, we got to do a lot better job closing out games and finishing, but, uh, you know, we uh, we worked on situations like that, so we are prepared for it. I know you guys had a great performance and you're going to enjoy this, but moving on and kind of focusing on Saturday, what do you expect from Morgan State? Uh, definitely a lot of pressure. They're going to try and get up into us, kind of like uh, our last opponent. Um, yeah, we're just, we got to be better at handling pressure, uh, especially late in the game. Moses, the feel of this club, you know, there's such an excitement on the bench. The, the work on the floor, it's just such a different vibe. And I know that was really the culture of this club, changing things. How's that going in terms of just the feel in the locker room and the guys with the camaraderie? Oh, man, we got, we got great guys. Uh, out of all the teams I've been on, this is definitely uh, the best team I've been on. And we got such high character guys and guys that come in and want to work hard. And uh, yeah, I think, you know, as the season goes on, we're going to keep getting better and we're going to be really good. If you had to talk about one thing about your game, you know, you're so versatile right now. What's making you stand out as far as, you know, you know, you had a great scoring night. You've been very successful in the other games. What do you think has really been the key? Um, I mean, I can, I can shoot for sure, but I think uh, all credit has to go to my teammates. I mean, they found me uh, like three times on the back door today. They're always finding me, looking for me. Um, and without them, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have as many points as I did. Well, you had 21 of them tonight, young man. Well done, and congrats on a big win for you and the Pilots. Yep, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Mo Wood with 21 points and eight boards, one of five Pilots in double figures. All right, that's going to do it from the Child Center. Pilots taking care of Arkansas. Pine Bluff, 86-274. Another quality home win for Portland. Pilots pushing their record to 3-1. and one. Yeah, yeah, I know the season's young, but boy, has it been fun watching this group improve. For Jennifer Mountain and our entire broadcast crew, I'm Ant Schott saying so long from the Bluff. Thanks for watching Pilot Hoops with us. Always love having you. Jen and I will be back Saturday. Portland hosting Morgan State. 5 o'clock tip. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and go Pilots.